I am at Pikes Peak Community College on the southwest side of this fire. The winds are gusting now from the southwest. They've been all kinds of directions this afternoon, mostly southeast and south, but now with a passing light shower, we're getting some gusty winds because of these dark clouds near me. The temperature has dropped down to 76 degrees. Now behind me, you can see the trees blowing quite a bit with these winds. The faint smoke band, it's really a kind of diffuse at the present time. We've seen some big plumes of black smoke off and on this afternoon. Probably those were a couple of houses being consumed and to the southwest of the fire there is a little band of shower activity some verga and that's one of the big concerns we've had today with these thunder showers been building is they're not going to bring much rain we've had a handful of sprinkles on us just in the last half hour right here at the command center but they will produce locally gusty and erratic winds and that might shift the wind around even 180 degrees for a short amount of time with gusts of 35 to 40 miles per hour which would make it exceptionally difficult for the firefighters to deal with exactly how this thing is going to ebb and flow uh, as the next couple of hours we'll still have some of these showers around there is still some aircraft Looks like a Chinook may be going in there or a Huey with a bucket underneath it. They've been uh, really working hard to try and get containment lines around this fire. We're up to about 5% containment now.